A new study from the UK published in the journal eClinical Medicine found that 14-year-old girls who use social media more than five hours a day saw a 50 percent spike in depression symptoms. Teen boys saw a 35 percent jump. Researchers found that all teens who spent excessive time on social media got less sleep and exercise, which are directly related to mental health issues. In addition, those teens were more likely to be exposed to cyberbullying. War and conflicts are breaking out all over the world. From Ukraine to Sudan and Israel, populist uprisings keep changing the status quo. Meanwhile, snot-nosed influencers are flexing the wealth they pretend to have to people who hate them. It's fair to ask what is the status quo, and why are individuals waking up to its toxicity? Let's take a moment to consider the attention economy, the central facet of modern life. First we have the free lunch myth, as tech giants once promised free access to the internet's bounty. Facebook is free and always will be, they told us. Books like Zuboff's The Age of Surveillance Capitalism and movies like The Social Dilemma have exposed the truth. We are not the customers, we are the product. The pay-to-play web mode is here to stay as sad as it seems. Every click like an emoji on sites like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or Amazon feeds the machine. We fuel this attention economy with our engagement working as its currency later to be bought and sold to the highest bidder. This creates the groundwork for engagement addiction, and it's nothing new, as advertising relies on eyeballs. But social media takes it further, employing tactics borrowed from the gambling industry to keep us hooked. Algorithms tailor content to our desires, triggering dopamine loops that make us crave more. This leads to an increased cost of attention, an addiction with deep consequences. Mental health suffers, privacy erodes, and misinformation spreads like wildfire. We're bombarded with unrealistic portrayals of wealth and success, fueling social discontent. We wake up every day and we hardly ask why. However, it's not surprise people get so restless as we realize the price we pay for free platforms is our time, our data, and our well-being. This is not a call to abandon technology, but to understand its true cost and demand transparency. We can reclaim our attention, rebuild trust, and create a digital future that serves us, not profits. The Internet's golden age of endless engagement is going to fade eventually. Experts like Cindy Goss, a public persuasion veteran with experience at Anheuser-Busch and Fortune 500 brands, have sounded the alarm. People will tune out. While businesses scramble for their attention with flashier ads and more content, a sense of defection is brewing. The very information superhighway once hailed as a utopian connector is facing backlash. Why you ask, it's simple, too much of anything, even a good thing, can push people away. Plenty of data backs this information. Studies show rising ad fatigue and declining trust in online content. Hollywood certainly feeling the pinch right now by disregarding talent in exchange of increased output. The attention economy's engine, endless user engagement, is in danger of capping at some point real soon. The reason is simple. Consumers, just like you, are daily overwhelmed by the constant information firehose. Algorithm-driven feeds keep them stuck in echo chambers, fueling social divisions and distrust. Meanwhile, privacy concerns mount as data, the fuel of the attention economy, is increasingly extracted and monetized. This isn't the end of the internet, but a turning point. Businesses have to adapt. Instead of bombarding us with noise, they need to focus on building trust, offering genuine value, and respecting our attention. The internet is still in its infancy and retains an incredible potential, but it can't thrive on exploitation. It's time to shift gears, move beyond the click-based model, and build a digital future that works for everyone, not just those who profit from our attention. The fact remains that big data reigns supreme, dethroning oil as the world's most valuable resource. But this tidal wave of information comes at a cost, consumer exhaustion. People are overloaded, struggling to navigate the content cacophony of the attention economy. This overload fuels frustration, disengagement, and even social unrest. Tech titans propose AI as the hero, claiming it can cut through the noise and deliver personalized messages to the right eyes. Aladdin, the AI platform by BlackRock, manages a staggering $21 trillion, or is almost the GDP of the United States. Tools like Frazy analyze individual profiles, crafting targeted social media posts that supposedly resonate better. Some report impressive results, boosting engagement and lowering costs. But is automation the only answer? Cindy Goss, a public persuasion expert, warns against over-reliance on algorithms. She proposes a different path, a blend of technology and good old-fashioned human connection. 
Goss suggests offering targeted content followed by personal engagement like face-to-face -face meetings. AI can play a role, helping identify valuable information for specific individuals. But the key lies in avoiding impersonal spam and building genuine connections. The future of the attention economy requires a harmonious melody where technology amplifies human interaction, not replaces it. By balancing personalized content with personal touch, businesses can break through the noise and truly win over consumers in this age of information overload. This is why keeping yourself focused is important. As notifications ping like popcorn kernels exploding and content streams scroll endlessly, focusing has become a superpower. The attention economy fueled by algorithms and dopamine hits thrives on our distraction. But amidst the noise, carving out space for focused attention is critical. Not just for productivity, but for our well-being. Why is focus so important? Think of it as a mental muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it gets, allowing you to tackle complex tasks, retain information better, and make sound decisions. Conversely, a flabby attention span leads to procrastination errors and annoying dissatisfaction with our accomplishments. The attention economy, however, actively works against us. Notifications are strategically timed to hijack our focus, social media platforms design feeds to keep us scrolling. News outlets bombard us with a constant stream of updates, all of them designed to catch a speck of that precious sliver of our attention. Focus feels like a rare commodity these days. The good news is that reclaiming your focus is possible. Reclaiming your focus is an act of rebellion against the attention economy. It's about choosing what deserves your mental energy and protecting your time. So to silence the noise and sharpen your mind, go right now to the link in the description of this video and learn how to beat information overload. You won't regret it. Presented by Beacon of Strength. Like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.